This is On India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. Prime Minister Narendra Modi concluded his Tri-City tour of visiting facilities involved in the manufacture and development of coronavirus vaccine yesterday. He visited Serum Institute in Pune, which has partnered with global pharma giant AstraZeneca and Oxford University for a COVID-19 vaccine, which in, is in advanced stage. Earlier, Mr. Modi visited the Zydus Cadilla Pharmaceuticals Vaccine Development Facility in Ahmedabad and got first-hand information of Zycovd, a COVID-19 vaccine candidate. He later visited the Bharat Biotech International Limited in Hyderabad, which has undertaken development and manufacturing of COVID-19 vaccine called Covaxine in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research. The Prime Minister took detailed reviews of the status of the vaccine candidates, including launch, production and distribution mechanisms. The death of a 62 years old man who had tested positive for COVID-19 infection in Shillong raised a fatality figure due to the ongoing pandemic, 211 in Meghalaya yesterday. Also, 71 fresh infections took the active caseload to 858 in the state. East Khasi Hills, including Shillong, remains the most affected district with 435 active cases, followed by West Garo Hills with 257 positive cases. Meanwhile, 129 new recoveries scaled up the number of persons who recovered from the viral infection to 10,735. As per official data released yesterday, 2,39,176 persons were tested for COVID-19 with 2,27,472 testing negative in Meghalaya, which has registered 11,704 COVID-19 cases so far. Nagaland reported 24 fresh cases of COVID-19 yesterday, while 25 patients also recovered from the infection. With this, the total confirmed cases in the state stood at 11,115. Health Minister Pang Nupom said 19 cases were detected from Dimapur 3 in Kohima and one each from Peren and Twensang. Presently, there are 1,218 active corona cases in Nagaland, while 57 succumbed to the infection. Meanwhile, the weekly COVID-19 bulletin issued by the Nagaland Health Department stated that 52% increase in COVID-19 hospital admissions signifies rise in symptomatic cases. The department also pointed out that households and workplaces continue to be the most common places of infection. The ruling National People's Party in Meghalaya yesterday hit back at leader of opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma of the Congress, which has been labelling charges against it on issues of alleged corruption on various fronts. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma termed the allegations of derailing investigation in the IRS scam and corruption in MEECL by the former Chief Minister as acts of desperation. The Chief Minister accused his preceding government for having interfered with the investigation into a prostitution racket in 2016-17 at a guest house owned by former Home Minister H.R.D.R. Lingdo by transferring investigating officers within a month. His statement came a day after the leader of opposition, Dr. Mukul Sangma, claimed that the NPP-led government had tried to scuttle an investigation into a firm SS Netcom owned by the Chief Minister and his family. The Chief Minister said the officers investigating into the case were allowed to investigate for a full year after it came to power and then transferred as a routine procedure. Investigations into the case have concluded and the accused persons have been arrested. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people in the country and abroad in his Monkey Bat program on All India Radio at 11 this morning. It will be telecast on Doordarshan. This will be followed by the regional versions in Kasi, Jantia and Garo. The Prime Minister has urged the people to share insightful ideas for Monkey Bad. He has invited the people to share their ideas and views in my GOV open forum. Mizoram will be celebrating Christmas and New Year in a low-key manner, with the state government extending the ongoing lockdown under the COVID-19 no-tolerance drive till 10th January to prevent further spread of the viral infection. The government has also banned bursting of crackers and social or public gathering other than government functions. Night curfew has been clamped in all district headquarters of Mizoram from 8 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.